one. Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is all about our career and our money. Let's see what's going on with our jobs. Before I get started, I always send out some healing, so take a deep breath with me. Here we go. All right. Uh, if you were with me yesterday and you knew my little baby bird saga, the birds have finally figured out how to get out of my window. <laughs> Thank goodness. So we don't have the chirping today. They were so loud yesterday. So loud. But, you know, you got to love it when new babies are born, right? So anyway, here we go. Pile one, we have the panda. Pile two, the lamb. Pile three, the cow. And pile four, the donkey. Take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to, and we'll check out uh, your career. What's going on? All right, pile ones. If you chose the panda, here we go. Ten of wands, the magician, the high priestess, the queen of swords, five of cups. Ugh. Oh, one. You're carrying a heavy burden here. Um, this kind of feels like, you know, you got to do something, but you really don't want to do it. So it kind of feels like, like if you don't have a job, you know, you got to go get one because money's getting tight and you got some burdens and you're going to have to figure things out. So you're manifesting a way to, to make some more money here, it looks like. I think you need to listen to your intuition. What's your intuition telling you? Does your intuition tell you that you need to get a job? Or is it telling you need to switch up your job? Because I think your gut knows. And I think you know. I think you know what you need to do. But I kind of feel like you're fighting it. Because it's not really what you want. So you've been kind of manifesting something different than what your intuition is telling you. Like... Oh, like winning the lottery. Maybe you're trying to manifest that. Well, that's not really easy to do. It can be done. It really can be done. But I haven't figured it out yet. I mean, I know what I need to do. It's just I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm not getting it. So <laughs> when I win the lottery, I will share the secret. <laughs> I will definitely share the secret on what, what uh, you know, actually made it happen. But anyway, um, I think you have clarity on this, to be honest with you. I think you know what you need to do, but I think it makes you sad. I think it's not what you want. So maybe it's like having to get a second job because money's really tight right now. And you really don't want to have to do that, but I think you know that you might need to. So it's something along the lines where you're carrying a heavy load financially. You got to pay something off or you, you got to take care of something. And uh, you're manifesting an easier way because you don't really like your options. That's what I'm feeling from this. Let's just hope that your situation is temporary and that, you know, you might have to do what you have to do for, um, you know, the time being, but maybe it'll get better in the long run. So let's get some more cards pleasure with a close friend okay so it's looking up a little bit and danger especially in money matters yeah see I think money's tight I think you got to make a move here soon I don't think you should wait much longer but pleasure with a close friend so for me that tells me that you might be working with somebody who you're close to and it might end up being fun for you so maybe a friend offers you a position, gives you a helping hand and says, hey, you know, my job is hiring. Why don't you come work with us? And maybe it's a, a you know, a little bit more an hour or maybe it's, a, you know, maybe you get a bonus or, or something. I, I'm not sure, but I do think that it's time for a little bit of a change here. Whether, you know, I, I have a hard time with this reading because... Like, I want to say, like, if you don't want to do something, you shouldn't do it, right? Because that's, 
but sometimes we know we we have to in this life we're human and we're our, our world revolves around money unfortunately so we need it to survive stand in your power be passionate about your vision bring about positive change all right so this is saying try not to look at your situation so negatively okay it, it feels temporary it feels like you're going to be able to be to fix this situation you're going to be able to dig out of the hole or whatever you're going to be okay it feels like but you got to change something up right now for the time being so try not to think so negatively about it look at it as a positive like I'm, I'm, I'm eventually going to be free of this situation okay so you know if you have to make a certain amount of money to get out of debt like say you have to make an extra ten thousand dollars this year to get out of debt all right let's do it Let, what's our game plan okay if i get another job if i get a second job and i make so much you know a month how much how long will i have to keep that second job right kind of like plan it out so it's not so bad so you have an end goal you have a you know you have a finish line so you have something to look forward to all right and i really don't think it's going to be that bad because i think you might be working with somebody that you enjoy working with and even if you don't know anybody you might make a really close friend there <clears throat> okay refine your attention there you go get focused like i said like focus your goals focus your obligations budget yourself and and know that you know you're you're going to be okay you could do this set set some goals for yourself and then when you achieve those goals reward yourself okay because uh you can't forget to do that i mean you can but i i, I don't want you to <laughs> oh look abundance is coming in okay so there is a cornucopia of abundance coming in for you it's just we have to change something up for the meantime until that it's ready to come to you so the abundance is there it's in your energy we just have to figure out how to get get it to us and sometimes we have to actually take practical steps to get it unfortunately spirit can't do everything so let's see you know they're non-physical they that's you know we're, we're here to do certain things to learn certain lessons and there's certain action steps we as human beings need to take horsemen herald of change yep so they you need to change something up all right they're telling you now's the time we got to move we got to change something up right now because uh we're in some kind of a financial pinch it looks like a loyal guardian a magical protector is there for you all right so you you have some help from the other side like they're looking out for you and i think that's why they're giving you these nudges with your intuition saying hey look you got to do something you got to change it up like this isn't working so i i think you're being nudged i think you know it i think you know it all right you're being protected so they're trying to help you so let's pay attention to that we got to help ourselves a little bit here. Property. A property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. All right, so this is about maybe moving, maybe about having to sell a house. Hopefully, it's about buying a house. Um, but they, they want you to be careful about uh, some of the details. So make sure you read any contracts carefully, okay? All right. Now, let's get you a crystal card as an advice card. So what crystal is coming out for you? We got clear calcite 
this beautiful gem is right on track. So you're going in the right direction. You're right on track. Like you, you're, you're thinking about the right things. You're, you're starting to focus your energy on what you need to do. Imagine direction, right? See, have a vision. Poise and forward thinking. It is helpful to eat before carrying. Oh, okay. So anyway, this is all about clarity and knowing what direction to go in, right? So that's what they're saying. Like you're thinking the right things. You just have to put those things into action now. All right, let's pull you some charms. I don't think I have a, I don't have a dollar sign charm. I wish I did. Maybe I should just throw a coin in here as, as a charm, right? All right. Cut ties with any fear. All right. We're going to cut ties with what's holding us back. Our belief systems that are like saying that we can't do something. We can't achieve something. We're not good enough. We, you know, we can't do that. Yes, you can. All right. And we got to let go of something. I don't know what it is, but we got to let go of something because something's not, it's not serving us. All right. Something's got to end. We need, we need a change. We need a change, even if we take baby steps, but we got to do something different. All right. So there is abundance in your future there. You have the grapes. So you got the cornucopia and the grapes. So abundances will be coming in for you, but I feel like you have to kind of do something for it to come in. All right. And then you got the whale. It's kind of like the Moby Dick whale, right? The big, big white whale. Um, I, I don't really, I'm not a hundred percent familiar with that story. I know he swallowed somebody, but I, I don't understand. I don't remember the story, so I don't know what that means, <laughs> but it, it, it did bring, it did bring to the fact Moby Dick. So if you guys know what Moby Dick is, maybe you, there's a, a lesson there that you guys can, uh, a message there that you could take from that. Sorry about the dog. And the last charm you got was Cupid. So um, maybe you're going to find a love match at your at your job, at your work. I don't know. But for those of you who are single, it might be worth it to, to, to look in a new direction because you might find the love of your life. Oh, that dog. All right. So we got rid of the birds, but we still have to deal with the dogs. <laughs> Anyway, Pile One, that's what I got for you. I'm, I'm done anyway. So give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile Two. If you chose the lamb, then this one is your reading. Oh, I, got, I forgot to keep forgetting to write down uh, timestamps. Anyway, it's all right. I'll have to go back and watch the video. Anyway, here we go. Um, Nine of Cups. The Star. The Emperor. Three of Swords. King of Wands. Um, well, that Three of Swords kind of throws it off a little bit, but... That, Honestly, I think you're doing what you love. I think you got a great job or a job that you really like or you're in the field that you always wanted to be in. I, I kind of feel like it's a wish come true. So I think you, you got a job that you really enjoy. And I think you're a boss at it. I think you're a boss. I think you're a badass. I think you're amazing. I think you're really good at what you do. And I think you've got um, some leadership qualities here. <clears throat> But I, I kind of feel like something's going to change with this Three of Swords. That's a little bit of heartache. And this is a career read, so something's going to sting. So I don't know if you're going to lose somebody that you work with that you really love working with. Or if you're going to have to change offices. Maybe change companies. And leaving behind some people that you really enjoyed working with is going to sting. But there's some kind of a sting here. Some kind of a, like, a, uh-oh. But it, it's really not that bad because you still are going to be doing what you love. And you're still going to be really good at it. 
So uh, you're, you're going to find your passion again. Uh, whatever this hiccup is, whatever this bump in the road is, um, it's really not going to keep you down for long. You're, you'll get over it. You know, you might not like it, but you'll get over it You're because you're still going to be doing great. So I don't know. Let's uh, get some more cards here. Let's figure this out. Something important such as a new job or raise. There you go. Maybe you're getting a, new, a different job. Or maybe you're getting a promotion. And again, that takes you, that makes you, you know, um, have to sacrifice something. But you got the arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So you are on the right path career-wise. You are doing good. You are doing fantastic, actually. I really like that. What is wrong with this camera? Is it me? Now let's move it. Is that a little more centered? Maybe that's a little better. Okay, sorry. It's the Virgo in me. Has, has to fix things. <laughs> you know, if I didn't play with the camera all the time, it would be okay because I'd set it and forget it, but... And I can never set it back correctly. Cosmic Pearl. Expand your psychic gifts. Open the gate to the angelic realm. So, <clears throat> this just tells me your angels are working with you here. You probably manifested this career from like an early age. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe uh, you always knew what you wanted to do. Or maybe this was, you know, a college decision. But you were still young. You knew what you wanted and the angels gathered around you with support and they're like, okay, this is her mission. This is what we're going to do or this is his mission. And this is uh, what they're meant to do and this is, we're going to help them. So um, if you ever get stuck and you need some help, what are you going to do? Call on your angels because they're there. They're supporting you. They're saying, we're here. We love what you're doing and we're going to help protect you, but let's... Uh, you know, ask for their help. They like to help. They do. They actually like it. It gives them something to do. <laughs> so ask for it. Have faith. All right. So this, it, that just leads me to believe that there's something about this Three of Swords that really has got you worried or upset or something. But this is just saying, look, you're protected. Ask us for some guidance. We'll help guide you and just have faith that everything's going to work out for you because you're getting more money and you're on the right path. You know, you love what you do. And we see that. So have faith that what's happening is happening for a reason and that it'll, it'll still work out. You know, maybe uh, certain things will be delayed or postponed or something, but uh, things are still work out for you. Oh, well, whoa, this could be the answer right here, pile two. Happy family. Could somebody be getting pregnant? Maybe that throws a wrench in your plans. Maybe a pregnancy get you know makes you, you know, you're gonna have to take a step back, or you're gonna have to you know go on um, light duty or something like that. Maybe maybe that throws a wrench in your plans. Maybe you have to postpone going to school because we're in the family way. It's possible, but it's also possible that. For those of us who are not planning on any more children, <laughs> um, that, you know, what's happening is for the good of the family. Maybe you're switching careers or switching companies because you're getting a raise and a promotion. And it's, and it's best for your immediate family. It's best for your family's pocketbook and your family's funds to do that. But yet you're sad about leaving the coworkers you had behind because you really liked it. But you got to do what's best for your family. So it could be a situation like that as well.
lost in space, needing direction. Sorry about the dog. There's my dog does not like box trucks. So anything that the carry like like the FedEx guy or even like I have a painting contractor that lives around the corner from me and he has this white box truck. Anytime a white like truck come like is in my dog's view, he barks at it. He does not like these white trucks. UPS, he's actually okay with. It's like FedEx he doesn't like. <laughs> Why? But anyway, that's why he's making noise. Um, needing direction. So you, I think I think you're just going to need an answer on what to do, how to handle a certain situation. I don't think it's like, I don't think you're lost in space. Like, I don't think it's like a, a you know, you're floating aimlessly. I think you just need a little bit of help here making a decision or knowing which way to go or what to do. All right, so what are you going to do? You're going to call on your angels. You're going to ask them to give you the guidance. And then we're going to listen for that guidance, or we're going to look for the signs that they leave us, and we're going to follow through with them. All right, and we're going to always have the faith. Always keep the faith. You've attracted wonderful news. Okay. So something really good is coming in for you. You might not know exactly how to handle it, but you've attracted some beautiful news, especially if that is a baby coming in. All right. That's, that's amazing. That's a miracle. But if not, it's some other kind of great news. So... It's that raise. It's that more money. So let's stay positive and look at the brighter side of things. Manifestation. A bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. Oh, pile two. It's a wish come true. So you're getting something really, really great. All right, let's uh, let's get uh, let's see what Crystal wants to give you some advice here. You got turquoise. Without fear, this stone offers healing and raises you out of the depths of unconsciousness. All right, so this is saying this is going to help you release your fear and it's going to give you some clarity. It's going to pull you out of this feeling like you don't know what to do. It's going to pull you out of that. So if you are starting to feel like that, go grab you some, some turquoise and uh, it'll help give you some of that clarity. All right, and you'll know exactly what to do. Let me pull you some charms. Your pocketbook, I, I think your pocketbook is going to be filled. I think I think more money is definitely coming in for you. And I think you're getting your sh slice of the pie. I think there's a lot of pie here. <clears throat> and I think a change is coming. But that change will be very rewarding. You got the divine masculine here. So we're going to step into our, our emperor energy here. We're going to be that leader, that boss. We're going to do what we know is best for us even if that means going to the beat of your own drum like not following what everybody else would do even if it's just doing what you feel is right for you all right and what does that drum beat also make me think of it makes me think of a heartbeat just saying Anyway, Pile 2, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I really do appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. 
Okay, pile three, if you chose the cow, then this one's going to be your reading. <coughs> Sorry, let's get your cards. Three of wands, the moon, two of wands, three of pentacles, judgment. Ah, oh, you're restless, pile three. Like, you keep waiting for your ships to come in. But why are you waiting? You're restless. I think you need to make a change, to be honest with you. I think you keep thinking, like, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. But it's not. So it, it, it's not. And I think that you're confused as to why it's not or what you should do. Or should you move on? Should you do something different? Like, what's going to get you ahead in life? Look, there's no perfect timing. If you're going to make a change, make a change. Today's a day. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new chance to do something different. Every day is a new chance to, um, you know, start over. Sometimes it's not easy, and I get that, but uh, I've, I'm feeling such restless energy from you. So I think that the Three of Pentacles is telling me you might be working with a new team here or working with new people. I think you might have to choose to do that though, but I think that choice is yours. I think that choice is available to you. I think that you might have something else you could do. But I do think you're taking a look at your life here with the Judgment card. I think you're kind of going back and analyzing some things. Um, should I do things differently? I think you're a little confused. I think you're not sure what you should do, but you're you're considering making some kind of a move here. You know, when you're in this kind of stuck energy, I, I feel like something's going to happen to push, to propel you forward, you know? And sometimes that's not always fun. So I, I don't know if you're feeling restless. I would like kind of, Maybe make a list, weigh the pros and cons, and uh, make a decision. Because if you don't make a decision, the universe might make one for you. And <clears throat> I'd rather have the choice myself. Just, you know, that's my own personal opinion there. But uh, you got to do what's right for you. But I think you're a little confused here. But I do feel you being really, really antsy. So let's get a, a few more cards. Secret admirer and a change for the better. Okay, so a secret admirer, we're not doing a love read here. So a secret admirer means that somebody can might, might be actually like taking a look at you and saying, you know, so-and-so is a really hard worker. They're good at what they do. They would be an asset to our team. So you might have somebody who's actually might be like maybe taking a look at you or keeping an eye on you or something like that. So... <clears throat> I don't know if you'll ever know, but I think somebody is noticing you. Change for the better. I think there's a change for the better coming in, <laughs> whether it's better where you're at or better somewhere else. I think that there's something coming in, so I'm glad it's for the better, not for the worse. <laughs> I wish I could just shake it, whatever this is. I don't even know what it is. It just feels like a cold, I guess. I wish I could just shake it. I'm taking vitamins. <laughs> They're not working. Anyway. The freedom of truth. Communicate honest honestly and be who you truly are. All right. So for me, that's saying that you're restless. Um, maybe you need to talk to your bosses. Maybe you need to say, look. You know, are things going to get better here? Do I have a future here? Like, am I am I going to make some money here? Like, are we going to get a raise? Like, what are your future goals? Because I need to start preparing mine because I'm feeling a little restless here. So maybe if you communicate that, they might, you know, be honest with you back and say, look, we don't have it in the budget this year to give you a raise. So you're staying where you're at for the time being. And you could decide what to do. 
or maybe they're maybe they'll say okay well you know uh we got a really big job coming up so we're going to be able to uh you know give everybody a little bit more money at the end of that so just hang in there more more money is coming maybe they'll give it to you or maybe they'll just say get out if you're not happy get out either way I think it would be meant for you. I think that would be the catalyst to for you to, you know, do something that makes you happy. So you got to do what's right for you. This is your money and your livelihood. So I don't really want to give advice where that's concerned. But I'm reading the energy of the cards. I'm telling you what I'm feeling. And you have to decide what is best for you. Nurture yourself first. See, this is like you got to put yourself first. You can't put your company first. You can't, I mean, you got to do the right thing, but you got to make sure that you're happy. And if you're not happy, if you are restless, then you need to figure out A, why, and what you could do to change it. Karen connections. So I feel like you work with people who actually care about you. I think you have friends at your job. So um, maybe being truthful and honest um, will get you somewhere because I actually feel like you have some caring connections. Yeah, I'm not talking, this is not a love read, but you know what I mean? Like your boss, boss might actually like really like you and really want the best for you and really might want to look out for you. So if they don't know that there's a problem, Maybe they don't know to fix it. So maybe you should have that talk. New beginnings. Oh, but a new beginning looks like it's coming in for you. So, I, I mean, that could be a new beginning where you're at. But it kind of feels like a change. It kind of feels like you're going to move on. I had to yawn. Sorry, I couldn't. Had to get that out. It's time to become a great leader. Step up. Do what's right for you. Communicate honestly, practically. You know, don't make any kind of threats, but just lay out the facts. And uh, you know, really take charge of your life. Take charge of your career here. This is this is you. You're in control of it, and you got to do what's right for you. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. Change is coming. So... You're going to be feeling better about things. So why not take the steps to get this moving along? Let's see what Crystal wants to come out for you. If one wants to pop here. There we go. Garnet. Beautiful and precious. My blood red friend comes to heal wounds of pain. If you are sad, wounded, or remorseful, forgiveness is possible. Rely on your wish to heal and Garnet will assist. So this could, um, you know, the, the help heal the, the restlessness feeling as well. It's a healer. Garnet's a healing stone. So it could it help heal that. It could help uh, you be able to speak your truth, maybe get it out so that you could become that leader that you're meant to be. All right, let's see. Let's pull you some charms. You might have to cut some ties here, but do it in a very smart and logical, wise way. Like, don't burn bridges. Okay, cut ties, but don't burn bridges. You got some love. So, um... 
<laughs> you got two hearts. So I, I do feel like there's some caring connections here. You might love who you work with, or you might love your new job, where you're going, what you're going to be doing. Um, you got Santa. So I think a change might be taking place, like come the end of the year, like maybe you're giving your job till the end of the year, but then you're like, this doesn't work. I'm starting out the new year with somebody new. Yeah, you're going to have an epiphany or a light bulb moment. Something's going to become very clear to you. And it looks like you're moving forward with that bicycle charm. That's a travel charm. So you might be moving forward quickly. And, you know, it's not a race car, but it's a, it's a bike. So it's better than walking. So you're not taking baby steps. You're actually on a bike moving kind of quickly towards uh, your future. So anyway, that is what I have for you, Pile 3. I hope it resonated. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose the donkey, and this one is your reading, let's get your cards. Page of Cups. Nine of Wands. Queen of Wands. Six of Wands. Ten of Cups. Wow, this is great. Pile four, I kind of feel like you're changing it up. I think you're changing things up a little bit. I think you might be trying something different. And it doesn't mean you're, you're changing your career. It just means like you could be trying something different in your business. You're, you're going to um, explore maybe... Um, you know, just you're experimenting here, it looks like, because it feel like you really want to succeed in what you're doing. You really want to be happy. You really want to succeed. You want to make a lot of money. Um, so you have some, you might have an opportunity here to try something different or some kind of an offer here, but I think it's going to pay off for you. I think it's going to be successful. And I think you're going to get your 10 of cups, which is a lot of happiness here. But I think it's because you're the queen of wands. You're willing to do it right now. You're willing to take a chance. You're willing to say, okay, let's um, let's see what works. Let's see what doesn't work. Let's take some risks here. Let's take some chances. Uh, because you, you don't give up. You don't give up. None of wands is somebody who doesn't give up. They just keep trying, right? And I think you're. I think you're gonna keep trying different things, which is fantastic. Which is absolutely fantastic. So let's see. It's it's a time of growth, it feels like, for you. I think something different is going to take off. You know, it kind of reminds me of the story of Amazon, where Amazon started out as one guy selling books online. He was a bookseller. He sold books. He probably went to, like, garage sales and thrift stores and started collecting books and then he would sell them online. And then what did it, look what Amazon is now. Look what it turned into. You can buy anything. And you can have it here within hours. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I the other the last time I bought something, like I bought something like at 9 o'clock at night, at 9 p.m. And by 5 a.m. the next morning, it was on my doorstep. Like there was, my dogs were barking at 5 a.m. because somebody was delivering a package to me. Like it's amazing what that company turned into. So I kind of feel like that kind of energy here where, you're, you're starting out with something, but now you're changing it up and you're trying different things and you're going to be really successful. Use your intuition. Make beneficial changes. There we go. Trust that gut of yours. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. All right, so if somebody's telling you you can't do that, say, watch me. Watch me. Yes, I can. Show that strength. Show that fortitude. I'm bound and determined to make this happen. I'm bound and determined to make this a success. I, I feel you're just like amazing energy. I do. You're, it's an excitement, right? All right, let's see what else. Cocoon of white light, rest in perfect love, understanding oneness. 
So this is about forgiving whoever gets in your way, right? Let's, or uh, forgiving um, people who might throw up those obstacles or make things a little more difficult for you. Let's just uh, forgive them and realize that they're doing their job for whatever reason. And, and uh, we're not going to resent them for it, but we are going to get past them. <laughs> we're, we are going to get past them. Except what is dying. Okay. So something is changing. We got to do something a little different. So maybe the old ways of doing things is dying. We need to let it go. Like maybe we're afraid of technology, right? Maybe the new technology scares us, but it's the wave of the future. It's the way things are going and it's, it's what everybody is doing. So maybe we need to just accept the old ways of doing it and welcome in the new and figure it out, learn it, right? And become great at it. So accept what is dying. Just a little bit of advice for you. Community. All right, so you're going to have a support team around you. Looks like you have support. You have, you're building a community. You could be doing something like what I'm doing here on YouTube. I'm building my community here with all, all my subscribers, right? So maybe you're doing something that involves community. That's amazing. Or your community is going to get bigger and better and stronger. Or they're going to step up and really help you out in some way. All of those things are amazing. Community is, is, is always good. They feel so crooked. They don't look crooked to me, but anyway. From where I'm sitting on the camera, they do. Stranger, curiosity. All right, so this is saying get curious. It's okay to do things strange. It's okay to do things other people wouldn't do. It's okay. Get curious. Find some stuff out. Um, curiosity is going to lead you to something that really works for you. All right? And other people might think it's strange, but guess what? It's going to work out for you. You inspire trust and confidence. Well, well, how sweet is that? <laughs> well, you're the queen of wands. That's why. Because you're like, you're bound and determined to make things happen, right? So you're inspiring that trust. And you're going to have people who follow you. You will. Again, I love it. Let's see. It's amazing stuff here happening for you. It's it's an excitement. It's like you're really going places. Major life change. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. Major life change. Major success major recognition great things great things are coming in for you whoa I want to ride your coattails here we go aquamarine use when meeting and arranging events Many people will find you interesting. Okay. So people are going to find you interesting. People are going to be attracted to you. You're going to inspire um, confidence. And um, like you could be like a leader of one of those multi-level marketing companies where you just inspire people to follow you and to join up under you. You know, you could be a, like a really great speaker and, and, and inspirational. 
So uh, you got the charisma, it feels like. You got the charisma. That's exciting. That's really exciting for you. Because I I really do feel like you're going to do great things. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, we got your angels and guides here. So it's the angel charm. Your angels are here helping you, supporting you, guiding you. There's another little baby angel wing. Um, you're strong. Look at this tree. You're strong. You're sturdy. You're stable. You're reliable. Like people can count on you. You're trustworthy. All right. And things, maybe things have been moving slow for you. Maybe, but, uh, you know, you're moving forward. And it looks like it'll pick up energy soon. Now you have two cards, I mean two charms of music. You got the music note and the guitar. So I don't know if music's involved in some way in your business. Um, or that you use music to inspire you. But either way, music is playing an important part in something, having something to do with your career or money. So uh, yeah, that's what I got for you, Pyle. Four. So uh, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light.